Oh, nice one, nice one. Tennessee smallmouth, baby. pre-made these uh, breakfast burritos. Oh man, they got potatoes, eggs, what else they got in there? Woo, fully loaded. So uh, he's got them wrapped in foil and he just threw them on top of these logs right here. Give them a little warming. Day two of the kayak camping trip. Oh, I just got fish on. <laughs> Perfect timing. Looks like a uh, black perch on the spinnerbait. During the intro, sweet, on the trailer hook. I slept so good last night, it was ridiculous. I took a, a Benadryl before I went to bed, just cause I'm in Tennessee, not used to all the allergens here. <laughs> I slept really good. So we're hoping the bite would be way better today. We've got seven miles to cover. It's a glorious morning. It's about 70 degrees right now, probably. It's gonna get a high as 84 today. But yeah, I'm gonna start out with the same old, same old. I got the spinner bait on, which I just caught that perch on. And then I got that Supreme Jig for dragging bottom with. Out of those two baits this morning, hopefully we'll figure out a pattern. If not, we'll just have fun exploring. But anyways, I'm gonna get those lines back in the water and I'll catch you downstream. Oh, right there. Yeah, smallmouth. He's been putting up a fight, man. He's in the boat. He was shallow, dude. They're shallow. First smallmouth of the morning. Fish. Oh, it came out of that log. Smallmouth. Spinner bait. Spinner bait getting it done this morning. They're chasing. A lot better than they were doing yesterday, this is for sure. About a 13 and a half. Beautiful small mouth, we'll let it go. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. It's gotta be a 16 or something. Got him. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. She's got a quality smallmouth on the spinner bait. My drag was just ripping. <laughs> I wasn't getting ground. He's not as big as I thought, but it just felt good in that current. Beautiful smallmouth though. Look at that pattern, so pretty. We'll go ahead and get quick measurements. Probably just uh, 15, 14 and a half. Thought it was a lot bigger than that, but man, what a fight in that current. We'll go ahead and let it go. Thank you for that fun fight, little guy. Thought you were way bigger than that. There he goes. 
There's one. Not a big one. That's a fish. That's a good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Uh, thought I had one. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my net. Oh jeez, what a mess. Got him. That was a hot mess. Just got this nice 15 inch smallmouth on the spinner bait. Right here to my left. Just this little run right here, real narrow passage, but he smoked that spinnerbait. We'll let him go. Y'all just missed an epic fight. I looked back at my camera to turn it off, my rear camera. It was off already, golly. This dude smacked that spinnerbait off this tree that's down in the water in the ripples. Yeah. <laughs> it was a fight. It's probably a 16, it's not huge by all means, but golly. Uh, 15 and a half. Beautiful smallmouth. Fun fight on that spinner bait right here in the middle of the current. And you missed it. Sorry about that. Anyways, we'll let it go. Fish on. <laughs> Get him out, little, little guy. I'm in a pickle. Uh. Little guy wasn't worth it. He was not worth it. Let me blow by you and I'll try to stay up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's tricky. That little 13 incher was not worth this. Fish on. Came out of that tree over there. 11 incher. Nice one, nice one. He smoked it. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Oh. <laughs> Got a stud on the spinner bait. Probably a two. Look at that gut. Good gracious, nice one. It might be 16. It's definitely a two pounder with that gut. 16 inches. But look at that belly right there. <laughs> Big old boy. Not bad for a 16 inch fish, but we'll let it go. But that was a fun fight right here. He had a follower, it was about the same size. I could see it. I was trying to scoop both of them at the same time, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. Thank you, Chunky Butt, for that fight. There's another one. There's another one. Feels good in that current. Feels awesome. Stay on, baby. This one's fighting so hard in that current. There we go. Another decent one. Oh yeah, putting on a show. Oh, he just popped off. That was probably a 16, 15 incher. A little time check, it is midday, exactly. Bite slowed down a little bit since the sun's up over our heads. We made a few bait changes, Let's see if we can uh, get back on them. But uh, I've been catching a lot of 15s today, uh, and you know, some 14s, but nothing over 15 yet, but they're here.
There's one. It feels like a good one. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. That's a big one. Stay on, Bertha. Stay on. Oh man, I'm gonna lose this one. It's in the current. Stay on, big papa. Oh my gosh, that's a nice one. Yes! Woo! Spinner mate just got her done. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a hefty one right there. Tennessee smallmouth, baby. Woo! That's a pretty one right there. Get this spinner bait out of his mouth. The spinner bait's called the moose. Because it puts mooses in your boots. Man, that one was not getting off. I was worried about losing in the swift water here, but he's been pretty good. 17 inch smallmouth. We'll give it a drink before I get the scale out. 211. Yeah, that's almost three. Two pounds and 11 ounces. That's a hefty smallmouth right there. 17 and a half inches. I'm gonna put it in the water. It's bleeding a little bit where I pinned it on the side. Nice one, nice one. He's in the current though, I can't tell. Feels like a Mondo though. Feels like a Mondo. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice one. That's probably another 17. There's one. There's another one back there. He's not that big, but he came out and smoked it. Oh, come back here, little guy. Oh, he's gonna give me that log. Oh yeah. Dude, come back in here, there's more. <laughs> Tyler just caught that beefcake, two pounder, 16 inches. And I just caught this nice baby right here. <laughs> it's probably a 15, maybe a 16. It's definitely not as thick as Tyler's. 15 incher. Beautiful smallmouth. We'll let him go. There's the fish. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Anchor drop. Stay on. I don't think it's a big one. It might be. Ah, oh, it looks decent. He's got a follower, too. He's got a follower. He's got a follower. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Got him. <laughs> he is barely on there. That was a close one. Beautiful smallmouth. Dropped that anchor wizard, held my position, and gave me a good fight. It's uh, probably a 14 inch one. Fish on, fish on, uh, and a pickle here. Come on, baby. Come here, baby. Gotcha. <laughs> Looks like a 14. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Put on a show. Put on a show. Oh, he's got me in that log. Oh, he's off. He's off. There we go. Oh, I just had a bite right there. He must have hit the... Oh, oh, there's a better one. Stay on. 
Uh, I think it's like a big tank. Putting up a good fight though. I got hit by another one in there. Spitter and bait strikes again. Probably uh, 14, 13 and a half. Beautiful smallmouth. We'll let them go. Well, we're on our last mile here and getting close to our destination, the old takeout point. <laughs> it's been an awesome adventure. Uh, the fish bite was way better today, but you know, we covered a lot more miles than yesterday. The main goal yesterday was, uh, you know, find a campground pretty quick before it got dark because we didn't get on the water till four o'clock. So it's been a great trip. I ate so well. Tyler put on the dog. Had those nice flavored brats last night. This morning he made uh, homemade burritos from the house with potatoes, bacon, whoo, eggs, cheese. It was good. So shout out to Tyler. I definitely give him a follow in the description below. It was a great camping trip in Tennessee. Hopefully the next quarter of a mile we'll put a cherry on top of this awesome epic adventure and camping trip. Hopefully you liked it too. If you did, smash that like button for me and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you on the next adventure.